Hello guys, I'm Rovius. Tasted as rework is finally here. With <laughs> it only took us around a year approximately. Let's see what they changed. So first of all, his attack, his trait is different. Resonance beam. Tacitus basic attack is a channel beam that slows by 10%. While channeling, your basic attack damage and mana regeneration increases by 25% a second to a maximum of 100%. While full charge, gain an extra 3 mana every second. This bonus is lost after 6 seconds of not channeling. So, as you can tell, the damage increases gradually. Awesome. The visual is really different. Looking good. And over here on the bottom, you can see the charges. So next... His Q, they removed the shield, his shock ray, channel a beam of psionic energy dealing blah blah damage and slowing enemies in line by 25%, 640 damage. This is what it looks like. Does not deal reduce damage to structures. It does lock you in position, so if you wanted to quickly retreat after casting, you can't do that really. So use it wisely. Really cool. W seems unchanged. Psionic Storm. Create a psionic storm at the targeted location for 3 seconds. While in, while in a storm, enemies take... 167 damage per second, increasing by 10% for each consecu consecutive instance of damage up to 50%. So, oh, you can even tell when it's gonna run out. And last but not least, Force Wall is now a base ability. 21 second cooldown, however. After a 0.5 second delay, create a wall, blocks all units from moving through it for 2 seconds. For Seems nice, however, the long cooldown is a bit of a bummer. If you just want to read the talents yourself, I'm putting on a timestamp for towards the end of the video well, where I will be hovering over each talent for your convenience to pause and read them yourself. Okay, let's try some builds. So let's try an auto attack build first. We're going with Kyder and Amulet. So the beam charges 50% faster. After when the beam has been fully charged for 80 or 160 seconds respectively, it bounces to hit one or two additional targets for 50% damage. So basically what is level 20 talent used to do. We have fully charged. Oh, never mind. Complete the quest. Boom, it bounces off and slows all of them by 10%. Looks really nice. Much better than the old beam. Now, on level 4, we take Plasma Shield. While Resonance Beam is fully charged, gain a shield equal to 3% of max health every second, stacking up to 15%. So, as far as I understand, you don't need to keep charging. If you reach 100% one time, you can interrupt and the shield will keep coming up. It's really strong, so you o technically only need to give any enemy a little boop every couple seconds. You've got 6 seconds before it runs out. Really strong. Awesome. At level 7 we take Arc Discharge. When Resonance Beam is fully charged, its next instance of damage also creates a psionic storm on the target. This effect is a 20 second cooldown. That decays twice as fast while Resonance Beam is fully charged. So, once you're fully charged, it will cast a psionic storm on your first target and will take approximately 8 seconds ish or something while fully charged come again. Not sure if I'm a fan of this. So let's check out the new heroic black hole. After a 0.5 second cast, create a black hole that travels in a long line. Enemy heroes within that black hole black hole's area are quickly pulled towards the center. Touching the center deals 680 damage and stuns the target for 1.25 seconds. Boom. 
I mean, it moves, moves rather slowly, it pulls enemies in, even if they are at the outer edge and stuns them. It's a cool ult, really. So, uh, I don't, I don't know if you know, know, knew this, but Black Hole was initially intended to be a spell only main. But I suppose they changed their mind once they remembered they might want to give something similar to Zarya already. But hey, here, here it is. Black Hole is back. Awesome. Level thirteen. Oracle. Forty-five second cooldown while stationary again. Thirty spell armor for zero point seventy-five seconds and restore twenty-six half a second. So let's take a little bit of damage over here so we can see how much the health region is. So we're stationary now. Boom! It regenerates health and we got spell armor. On top of that, we can use the oracle to reveal an area. Gradually increasing. On 16, it somehow already picked my talent. Executor's will, 40 second cooldown. Activate to go. Gain full resonance beam charge. Ah, okay, and 15% spell power, and cause basic and heroic ability cooldowns to regenerate 25% faster. This effect lasts as long as resonance beam remains at full charge. So, you can instantly charge up your beam, and you will, ha will have an additional, as you can tell here on top, 15% spell power. Remains active as long as your beam is charged, so really strong in my opinion. Shouldn't be too difficult to keep that one up. Level 20. Let's try this is the heroic upgrade first. Google Blitz. Each hero hit by Black Hole Center creates a psionic storm at the location. So we should get three psionic storms here. If the heroes are really lined up really well, that should do terrible damage. And it goes really well with this Q as well. Okay. Let's reset the talents and try something else. Let's go with the Q build next. Static charge here is hit by shock ray, permanently increase its damage by four, and grant thirty-three resonance beam charge. Maximum of two hundred bonus damage. So we hit someone, we get some stacks. Oh, and as we hit three. Our resonance beam is already fully charged. I see. Induction casting shock ray grants Tassada 15% increased movement speed for 3 seconds if an enemy hero is hit. Increase the speed bonus to 25%. Which I reckon can be very useful considering it locks you into place. You might need this extra movement speed. However, overall, I don't see if it can really compete with what we tested earlier with the shield gain. Level 7, Beam Alignment. While Resonance Beam is fully charged, Tassadar's basic attack range is increased by 1. And Shock Ray's cooldown refresh is 100% faster. So, if you're full, let's turn off toggle cooldowns. If you're full, as you can tell on down here, the Q recharge is twice as fast. We can use it twice as often. Awesome. On top of that, it increases your... Oh, I haven't even selected it. Now it's wor now it's working. So now, now. 100% faster. Yeah, that's that looks faster. And your attack range is increased. But only when the beam is fully charged. Arkin. Tassadar transform transforms into an Arcan, gaining shield equal to 40% of his maximum health and empowering resonance beam. Deals 329 damage and splashes 164 damage to nearby enemies. Here is hit health and spell power reduced by 20 for 2 seconds. So this part seems to be new. Resonance beam is fully charged while Arcan is active. Okay. 
Okay, so nothing phenomenal here. Seems as it used to be, apart from the spell power reduction, as you can tell. Level 13. Shadow Walk. Tacit becomes stealth and unrevealable. Cannot attack or use abilities for 1.5 seconds. Well, if this effect is active, gain 40% increased movement speed and 25 armor. So this is basically what is E used to be. Glad it's still some some way or another in the game. So if you need some extra mobility anti-CC, you can pick up that one. Thermal Lance. Shock Ray deals an additional 8% of maximum healthless damage to the first hero it hits. Let's select an enemy hero for that, actually. That sounds like a good amount of burst damage, if you ask me, considering you can use it every three and a half seconds. Oh, look at that. It's like... That took, takes away like 25% of Arthur's health. Seems really strong. Might be a bit too strong, who knows. We'll find out soon, I suppose. And on 20, let's t check Carla's gift for now. Twilight Arkin received... Uh, Appears to be unchanged. Outer attack still increased the duration by two seconds. Call this gift. Gain 4% spell power for yourself and each nearby allied hero up to 20% total spell power. Your bo total bonus is shared with all contributing allies. So, I'm alone now, so I have an additional 4% spell power. Moving over to my healing dummy ally. We both now supposedly have got 8% additional spell power. Seems nice. Like, Depends on your team composition, I suppose, but it's a nice bonus to have, I suppose. Okay, let's check another. Build, this time with Psionic Storm. Psion Fusion increases the range of Psionic Storm by 33%. Each non-structure enemy hit by Psionic Storm restores 0.5 mana, increases to 5 against heroes. So it increases the range, the cast range, and the mana you get back. Let's turn off the toggle cooldowns then, the mana you get back. Oh, and you get mana back, yeah, I see. Basically what his talent, his old quest used to do, but without the AoE increase and yeah, mana return without having to complete a quest. Electric Fence. Force Wall deals 200 damage to a second to nearby enemies and slows them by 35%. A talent. I feel like they ticked one once more than I, it should have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 500 damage. Not too bad if you like manage to squeeze someone into a corner and cast a storm on top. However, I'm not sure if it can compete with Plasma Shield. This seems really like... I'm really loving this talent so far. Let's see how good that actually is in play. Psionic Echo. Casting Psionic Storm causes your next Shock Ray within 3 seconds to only cost three mana, uh, 30 mana and create a Psionic Storm on the first enemy hero hit. So I'm casting Storm, then my next Q will cast another Storm on the first enemy hit. Casting Storm, Q will cast another. Seems decent. Definitely would pick this over Arc Discharge, but Beam Alignment seems to be my favorite out of this run, this row. On 13, let's take feedback. When an enemy hero is affected by a psionic storm, resonance beam slow is increased to 50% and reduces physical armor by 25. Choose a talent. So if you auto attack someone while in the storm, they get minus 25 armor and they're slowed considerably more. 
usually only slows by 10%, with this talent. While in a storm the enemy will be slowed by 50%, which seems massive. Can we try that on Arthas? Can we get him to attack us? Yeah, really hefty slow. Combined with your force wall can... Probably... Probably a good choice. Psychic shock. Psionic storm deals damage 25% faster. Does it mean it lasts shorter? Well, it definitely takes faster and thus the DPS will be greatly increased and the number of ticks you will get off on your enemies. As they sure won't stay, won't be standing in that deliberately. Let's try the improved force barrier. So increased range seems as as usual. Ten. Still has got a around ten percent sec uh, ten eleven second cooldown with that. Duration is longer. Oh well, good. A good talent overall. I feel like all of his level twenty talents are viable options. With Kugel Blitz being my least favorite, I do have to say. So, ladies and gentlemen, this appears to be our new Tassadar. Really excited, I'm really loving what they did. I really am really fond of Shockray. I absolutely adore the level 4 plasma shield talent. I love the interaction with the auto attack wrapping up and having it at fully charged, having s such a huge impact on many other talents and abilities. Yeah, absolutely loving that. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to give me a like and see you around next time. Bye bye.